Captain Smiley, Captain Smiley, someone is robbing the King Yum's bank and trust. Oh, perfect. It's not really good news, sir. I didn't ask you, Gerda. Star, get up. Ah, I'm tired. What? It's smiling time. What are you doing here? It's a trap, Captain! Dr. Winklemeyer's gonna blow up the bank! With us in it! <laughs> oh, come on! You knowingly led me into a trap? Gerda, I am very disappointed. I'm sorry, I didn't have a choice. One always has a choice. Captain, he was holding a butcher's knife to my neck. He said he was going to scoop out my eyeballs and eat them while he sawed off my head. What did you want me to do? Well, you could stop making excuses, Gerda. Because <laughs> ultimately, we have to live with the consequences of our actions. Fine. Would you please just untie me before the bank explodes? In a minute, just hold your horse. Yeah, please. shut it. And as for you, Dr. Winklemeyer, is it robbing a bank a little low for the absolute monarch of... Uh, wherever it is you're from? We don't want money, Captain Smiley. This bank promises free checking, no hidden fees. But what happened when you want carbon copy checks instead of standard? Fee! What happened when you use Teller to make deposit instead of ATM? Fee! What happened when you make bathroom on lobby couch? Uh, a fee? No, two counts of public indecency, three months of community service, and a fee! <laughs> So, Captain, soon you not be only hero in town. After I destroy this house of lies using my Cranotron, all of Funshine Springs will be praising the name Dr. Winklemeyer! <laughs> Actually, he does have a point about those bank fees. They really take advantage of you here. Damn it, I have a level 50 epic quest tonight, so let's get this show on the road! Okay, Winklemeyer, the gig is trumped up! What? The jig is up, not trumped, you big pile of fail! Wait, up? Nah, I don't think so. Look, don't try and think too much, you might hurt yourself. Give me moments while me warm this bad boy up. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's working now. Oh man, this guy's an even bigger turd than you are. Put a bullet in his face. Well, if it isn't our evil arch nemesis, Brad. Wait, what? Uh, Brad's here? What's up, Dill Holes? Hey, check out the Brad copter. Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> Okay, babes. First one to shred these dweebs into pizza topping gets to hold my sunglasses while I work on my quads. Uh, oh, me, me! I'm, I'm like so good at that! Come on, Winkle Meister. Let's go get some nachos. Yeah, I see you later, Brad. Uh, uh, take it easy! Call me! We'll hang out! Uh, okay, it's cool. You really like Brad. You really like suck!
odds were no match for us, Brad. Now get down from your Brad copter and let's have this out. Manta Brad. Whatever. I just spent the last half hour at Gaucho's. Got three phone numbers while I was there. <laughs> no lie. Best nachos of my life. Oh, hey, hey, Brad, which one's your favorite? The nachos locos or the pollo grande supremos? Yeah. Look, you two freaks are eating into my treadmill time. So let's do this. Hasta mañana, douchewad. Stop shooting at Brad, are you nuts? He might actually get hurt. That's kind of the idea. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, Bud White. Captain, you have less than 75% power. I thought you were in better shape. Have a theme song. Now nah, I'd like to think we're above singing our own praises, Star. Kind of getting embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, Wiki! Get grab on! Happy trails! Garbage, for one. Heroes of my caliber don't stand in garbage, all right? Heroes of your caliber fall back into teaching. Also, I've got a villain with a magic helmet that does things that apparently only he can see. It's kind of hard to look awesome when you're chasing a crazy person who has imaginary powers. And it's kind of hard to look awesome when I'm stuck to a mouth breather like you! Let's not forget I spend most of the comic beating up women. Not good for my image, so... <laughs> Everyone, uh, back to your original places. We're just gonna do this again. What? You heard me. Uh-uh. No way. I'm sorry? Uh, looking at the situation, I don't think you have a choice. Oh, maybe I don't, but I can sure as hell ruin every scene for you, you whiny prima donna. Oh, yeah? And how are you gonna do that? Like this! Stop it. Stop it. Stop! Do that again. You like that? Please, do that again. I dare you. Ah! Ah! I'm sorry, stop, 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 stop! Oh, oh god, god, let it go! You stupid! Die! You! Oh, ow! Hey, I got you! No, no! Oh, 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 pain! How's that even possible? Oh, oh, oh. Mercy, mercy, okay! He's got some smiling. Oh! No, buddy. He's. Sucks. So, you want to go learn stuff? Yes. No, no. Captain Smiley. More like Captain. Oh. Keith Comics, this is Keith. Captain Smiley Comics. Yeah, we got him. Tell you what, you come down here right now, you can have the whole box for free.
you know, fellas, I think we can do something with this. Ah, oh, Gerda, what's with the business get up? Get over here, you two. We need to talk. Captain. What is all this, Gerda? What's going on? Uh, things have changed, Captain. We're broke. For one, our readership plummeted so far that we were canceled. Two, most of the villains we had under contract have left to find work elsewhere. Baron Von Manape, Oregano Guy, the Kiwi Brothers, everyone is handed in their notice, except for the Puttmaster. I can't seem to get a hold of him. You know, I was thinking it was time to clean house anyway. We could just... Three, uh... if you want your own title again, it looks like you're gonna have to guest star in other comics until you have enough money to relaunch your own. The generous developers at Twisted Pixel have been kind enough to build this base and the technology for you to be able to jump into other comics. Guest star? I'm not a guest star! I am the king, baby! Not until you make your first appearance, baby. Until then, you're just cancelled, got it? Now Twisted Pixel has hired me to manage your mission, so listen up. Your first job is for a comic book called Nanok the Obliviator. You mean that diddly sword and sorcery rag with all the loincloths and leather jerkins? Yeah, well it's also got readers, Star. It seems the hero of the comic Nanok has gone missing. One of his slave girls, Nordia, is contracting you two to go and find him. His slave girl? Oh, so he has his version of you, right? You know, Gerda, maybe this guest starring stuff wouldn't be so bad. I'd get to see some nudity. I, I mean, expose myself. I mean, get exposure. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know what you meant. What? What's Brad doing here? Isn't it obvious he wants to hang out with me? Uh, hey, hey, Brad! Hey, Brad! Great to see you! Why are you here? Well, seeing as how your comic's canceled, and since you totally hosed the Bradcopter, I got no other ride. The Bradster and his babes are flopping here for a while, and if you got a problem with that, you can sit on we it. We love you, Brad! Whatever, babe. Oh, this sucks. Awesome! Wicklemeyer! Captain! So good to see you again, co-worker! Co-what? No, 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 we are not co-anything! After me lose job in your comic book, Wicklemeyer lose lease on Greenwood, me special people hospital. So, nice twisted pixel people gave Wicklemeyer job, plus many medical and dental benefits. When me make enough monies, Wicklemeyer reopen Greenwood and help special peoples once more, including you. What kind of job do they give a mental case like you? Me is upgrade merchant. Captain can buy many upgrades and collectibles with monies he earns from completing tasks in comic books. Come back any time, Wicklemeyer wait for you. Oh, hey, you're doing a great job, by the way, and, uh, Thank you so much for all this. Very, very much appreciated. Seriously. Not a problem, Captain. I can't believe you people hired this guy! What, was Mollusk Man too expensive? Select the issue you want to jump to in order to start the mission. Once you've completed the mission, you'll get paid. I hate to say it, but you almost look cool. Oh, check out these boots! What? Where? Oh god, let me see! No, I said boots. Oh. Outlander, there you are. Now those are some boots! I... um... uh... You are the Outlander, come to save Nanok, are you not? I... uh... Hell yeah, we're here to save what's-his-name. Now, uh, what are you offering in return, though? That's enough, Star. This woman obviously needs our help. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is this Nanok rich at all? Because we really could use the cash. Lots of cash. Nanok the Obliviator is the ruler of all that is seen and unseen in these lands. His wealth is beyond counting. Sweet! <laughs> See, we do this little job and we'll be back on top in no time. Um, 
where is a said Nanak now, uh, maiden? I know not. He disappeared shortly after the arrival of the Ball-Eyed One. Mm, balls. That sounds suspicious. Maybe we should start with him. I am called Nordia. As Nanok's favorite concubine, I am safe to travel alone. Oh, it gets even better, Junior! She's a pro! I will scout ahead to warn you of any danger between here and the village. You are very brave, Outlander. <laughs> Did you hear that, Star? She thinks I'm brave. Right, and she also thinks that raindrops are God's tears. Come on. Okay, listen, when I'm making out with this Nordia broad, I want you to close your eyes this time, understand? Oh, please, let's not have a repeat of what happened last time I made it to second base with a girl. Oh, I told you, body glitter doesn't agree with my sinuses. Huh, we got company. Uh, on long putts, concentrate on speed and aim for the immediate target. Um, <laughs> Uh, sure. Uh, we're looking for Nanok. Uh, have you seen him? Uh, now remember, a, a putt with your arms, not with your wrist. This guy's wacko city. Let's get out of here. On here, here. L let me show you. Gun! Huh? Ah! Cut him nowhere. Uh, where's the gun? Captain, didn't you read the contract? What? Is he? Is he dead? <laughs> nice shot, quick draw. <laughs> You said he had a gun! In your face! Captain, this comic isn't like yours was. People can really die here. Set your gun to stun if you want to get paid for this job. Oh, crap. I, I killed someone! <laughs> Remind me not to get on your bad side, Mr. Cheney. Shut up, okay? <sighs> Come on, life sucks here. Chances are no one even notices. I just want to leave the stupid comic that totally ruined my day. It made me laugh. This place is all right in my book. Hey, isn't that the guy you killed? Miles, I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Not only do you murder the poor guy, but then you bust up his funeral. <laughs> That's stone cold. None of this would have happened if it weren't for you. Hey, maybe he's got kids. You think about that? I'd rather not. When they grow up, they're gonna want revenge. So? We gotta kill him. What? The sons for sure. You can't be too careful these days. You probably have to kill at least one of the daughters too. Are you insane? Outlander. Yeah? Oh, uh, yes, Nordia. Uh, right, hi, uh, how are you? I thought you came here to aid Nanok. Mm oh, no, 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 we were just leaving. Honest. Then hurry. I fear for Nanok. Our efforts may already be in vain. Forgive us, cousin. Our steeds were burdened by the heavy hearts of their riders. What news have you of the search for the scoundrel who took the life of our king? Oh, you mean this guy? Birdman. Is this just a mini golf course? <laughs> <laughs> Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> but, Master, I should have known. Good morning, Captain. No doubt you're wondering what I am doing here. See, due to your recent imbecilities, I found myself bereft of employment. Funny, but these industry sorts simply fail to see the vast diabolical potential of the most evil sport conceived by man. Dodgeball? No, you idiot! Miniature golf! Ah, but then I found this place. Nerthus. For these primitive people, I am a god, and mini golf a religion. A gun has no strength here, but a signature putter? Observe. Come to me, child. Oh, 
normal girl. You see, boy, that is true power. If other comics won't have me, then I shall have them. Gaze upon what will be the largest mini golf course ever conceived by man. Colonel Putt-Putt's Golf and Fun Zone. Oh, great name, Shakespeare. Really rolls off the tongue. Get a marketing person. And with the vast revenues I receive from other comic characters paying to play here, along with card rental fees. Card fees? I thought real golfers walked. It's 180 holes, you fat-headed worm. Besides, I had all their riding beasts destroyed to provide enough glue for the Area 51 hole. It used a lot of glitter. Regardless, soon I will be a mega gazillionaire and will be able to buy my own comic. Ah, but I've no more time to palaver. I'll leave you to contemplate what you have heard on the tea of woe. Top ta <laughs> <laughs> What has become of you? I have become a mighty sportsman. I play 27 holes of miniature golf every day. That's not really much cardio, especially if you're using a cart. Bah! Golf is very physical indeed. <laughs> indeed! So I have become girlsome? It is not for you to question my judgment. I am Nanok! Who is the outlander you bring with you? He is the Smiley Chieftain. I brought him here to free you so you could wage conflict against the Ball-Eyed One. The Ball-Eyed One? Why should I wage conflict with him? He gives me honeyed hams, brittle peanut confections, beautiful sweetmeats. He even gives me a horse's chariot so I may be active and independent. Even though he, he enslaves your people! I do not see why this is my concern. Look, take it from me. A guy named Puttmaster cannot be trusted. Smiley Chieftain! He vexes me when Outlanders question my charge. By the sand traps of Hyperia, you shall fall by my hands! to borrow something of yours. Oh, no! Oh, and don't worry, Nanok. The next shipment of those zesty nacho cornmeal snacks you so enjoy arrive on the morrow. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, Captain, be on the lookout. The Pub Master's brought with him some 21st century technology, so, uh... Be careful, I guess. We've got a lot of money riding on your presence in Nanox comic book, Smiley. Don't screw this up. No problem, bosses. I'm all over it. 
Uh, speaking of all over it, Gerda, could you please transport us somewhere other than Nanok's butt cheeks? Oh yeah, no worries. Consider it done. Smiley chieftain. Seems the only equal to my girl. My pride. Oh, oh, my. Oh. My face was in your butt. It was in your butt. Oh, where do you think mine was? <laughs> I myself will rescue Nadia from the ball eyed one. But as you can see, my bladder is piled high with salted nut rolls and candy delicacies. So, I would ask you to rescue her in my stead. One condition. Name your terms, Outlander. This never happened. Indeed. This would seem not to be my finest hour as well. So it shall be. You will take one of my horse's chariots. Good journeys, my friends. Let me drive! I told you, that doesn't even make sense! Come on, please! I promise I'll- ah, ah, Burn! Shoot! Shoot! Captain, this has been a fun little AC Ducey. But as you can see, you're too late. After I make this sacrifice to the gods, all 180 holes of Colonel Putt-Putts will be complete! Nordia! You like the final hole, Captain? Unfortunately for your little friend, this game will be a long walk spoiled. <laughs> no hot one! No! Damn it! Just when I was about to get some! How about a little four-man cha-cha-cha? You and your chesty friend versus myself and my esteemed caddy. Rumors? I must warn you, old boy. I'm quite the scratch golfer these days. <laughs> Brained advice. We certainly know why Lee Trevino fired you now, don't we? By the time I'm through with you, you won't be able to get a job caddying the seniors tournament in Wisconsin! Nanok? Nanok! I knew you would come to rescue me! Wait, whoa! Hold on! Woman! Well, have you placed my two spread? Next to your rinds of boar. You speak with the lyle's tongue! Already I have searched there! Would you care to wager on this? <laughs> we will venture home. Then we shall see who has the fool's crown. Here's your word, smiley chieftain. Good journeys! Your next guest appearance will be in a series called The Improbable Paper Pals. Oh, well, that sounds pretty Shut dumb. Shut up and listen, Star. Now, it's going to be a back issue from the 1960s. The series was canceled because one of the leads, Paper Lad, couldn't find his partner, Origami Kid. 
Paper Lad needs your help in the hope that the series will continue if you find him. Be forewarned, though. We've got the Comic Obscenity Commission to contend with. American sensibilities back then were a little more conservative. What are you talking about? Hippies were boinking in the streets in the 60s! True, but it took most comic book publishers a while to catch up with the times. It would be another five years or so before Kenny Kaleidoscope and the Far Out Squad would get their own titles. Ooh, I remember Kenny Kaleidoscope! That guy was awesome! Whatever happened to him? Kenny K? He lives on an avocado farm in Maui now. I get a Christmas card from him every year. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, uh, me too. So, uh, you happy here, huh? Oh, yes. Me like it here very much. Can it, Nutloaf? Just so you know, we ain't buying the old employee of the month routine. We're keeping our eyes on you. Thank you so much for this constructive chat. Are you coming to the employee picnic? What a fun day of morale building that will be. Ugh, I really hate that weirdo. Improbable paper pals, here we come. <laughs> Easy money. I still say the Silver Age sounds dumb. Just watch your mouth, Star, and we'll be fine. Blast off! Great, a museum. I f hate these places. You are in violation of the COC's general standards regarding coarse or vulgar language. A fine will be deducted from your pay. Further violations will result in larger fines and may result in loss of the COC's seal of approval. The f is that? COC, Comics Obscenity Commission. We uphold the standards of good taste, ensuring comics are a wholesome and instructive form of American family entertainment. Well, aren't you just the cat's... <laughs> Captain Smiley, thank goodness you're here. Uh, did you hear something? Captain Smiley, down here, it's me, Paper Lad. Paper Lad? That's right, Captain. I just came from the diner down the street. I was disguised as a newspaper when I overheard two crooked security guards talking about how Mistress Ropes is going to rob the museum tonight. Disguised as a newspaper? Seriously? Yeah, um... Before we go any further here, we're going to need to discuss payment. Now, we do offer an installment plan, but there is a 35% late fee, I should add. Also, my crime-fighting partner, Origami Kid, has gone missing. Without his power to create representations of objects from paper using geometric folds and crease patterns, I'm sunk as a skunk! So, you pretty much have the powers of a piece of paper. Oh, awesome! We have to stop dilly-dallying. We've got to find Mistress Ropes. Quick! Stick me in your pants! What? Oh, nice. Is it just me, or does that kid seem a little, uh... Oh, into you? Another fine! Stand back, officers! Not even the thin blue line of law enforcement can keep women from being granted equal rights in our society. Aw, oh, look at you. Uh, go home and bake us a pie, lady. <laughs> Good one with the pie and the joke and the telly. Laugh while you still can, gentlemen. Once I take the Sappho's crystal with me back to the SS Susan B. Anthony, your era of gender inequality will be over. There she goes with that crazy talk of hers again. Peace. Ooh, stop her before she gives voice to the discontent and frustration felt by women everywhere. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Okay, Toots, step away from the dinosaur! My name is Mistress Ropes, you patriarchal jerk! Excuse me, Captain. At what age do you start to, uh, notice girls? Whoa, what? Hey, look, kid, now is definitely not the time to discuss this. Excuse me? I'm still standing here. Or are all women invisible to you, Captain? Look, Ropes, I know the Silver Age can be a little repressive, but... Don't you think you're taking things a little too far, robbing Chopaz crystals or whatever crappy plan you have going on? How dare you, you men! 
All a bunch of Neanderthals. Ever so appropriate that you should die by the jaws of this prehistoric behemoth. Oh. Give up the crystal, Mistress Ropes. You are trapped. I'm trapped? Have you seen the way society treats women in this era? I understand, baby. I do. I'm from the 21st century, though, where sexism is a myth. But to steal from a museum, a museum that spent decades forcibly acquiring priceless treasures from primitive cultures who have no clue what the value is, that is just wrong. Maybe you're right. It's just... It's just... Life is so hard sometimes, you know. Golly, Mistress Ropes, I sure know how you feel. Why, just yesterday I noticed hair growing where there wasn't any before. Is that normal, Captain Smiley? I don't know. Like, paper lad, seriously, ask your dad or anyone but me. Okay, look, Mistress Ropes, it can't be easy to be a woman in this day and age. You're probably just stressed because you're always having to fight the system, you know? Yeah, or because you're menstruating. So what do you say we, uh, share a pint of ice cream downtown? At the police station? What is this? You lull me into a state of false comfort, and then you begin objectifying me? Ha! Trust us, babe! You ain't anywhere near our type! You know, I was beginning to fall for you. I really was. But you men, you're all the same. Farewell, my phallocentric fools! All right, let's go get her, I guess. Yippee! Hey, why aren't we going back to that crappy base those game nerds made for us? Huh, I'm not sure. Oh, wait. It says here I'm supposed to do the letters from the readers segment of the comic book. Weird. Okay, whatever. Gotta pay the bills, right? Just do it already and let's get the f*** out of here! Hmm, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's smart. Dear Improbable Paper Pals, if I eat my Brussels sprouts and do all my chores, can I be just like you? I take the Improbable Paper Pals pledge every day. You are the keenest. Love, Joey, age six. Dear Joey, thanks Next. for- Next! Jeez, oh, crackers. Oh, maybe this fan mail stuff isn't so bad. We should try it when we get our own comic again. <laughs> Whatever. Dear Improbable Paper Pals, I have every one of your issues, and I think that Mistress Ropes is the best villainess ever. I would love to see a storyline in which she ties up Origami Kid and makes him smell her bare feet. Ooh, uh, bare feet. Maybe one of her powers could be that her feet smell bad. Afterwards, she could take Paper Lad with his own. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let's move on. Ooh, is that how babies are made? No, they... Ask your teacher. Next! <laughs> Dear Improbable Paper Pals, although I am a fan of your comic, I must take umbrage, oh, nice word, with your issue number 62, in which Origami Kid tells his arch nemesis, Captain Kirigami, that Captain Kirigami's radioactive scissors will not affect Paper Lad because Paper Lad's powers were caused by green radiation, which is more powerful than yellow radiation, when clearly in issue number 27, oh my god, okay, okay. You know what, uh, Eugene? You're a nerd. We done yet? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Wait for me. Star, no more potty mouth from you in this next issue, okay? Hmm, speaking of potty mouth, I forgot to thank you for agreeing to have me fight Nanok. I especially loved that part where I got a face full of his ass. Yeah, I love that part too. Okay, boys, it's about time for you to make another jump. Let's get ready. Hello, work friends! Who would care to join me later for happy hour, where we will partake of karaoke and vent about our superiors? Zip it, Looney Tunes! Okay, one more time into the past. 88 miles an hour. What? 88 miles an hour! That's the speed of time travel! Come on, everyone knows that! You're serious, aren't you? Um... No? Sigh, please let him die soon.
Setter. Neat, huh? <sighs> no, not really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, come to think of it, I should have said thought we defeated him. As it turned out, our hey, arch nemesis... Hey, how are you breathing? I've got this half-helmet thing. Uh, how are you breathing? I don't know, because I'm a star, I guess. Well, then how can you talk? I thought space is a vacuum. Oh, great. Eugene's going to have a field day with this next letter. Watch out, Captain! Looks like it's time to show Mistress Robes who wears the pants around here, boys! Captain, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Let's say you like someone, but you're not sure if they like you, too. What should you do? I don't know. Uh, consider how others see you. Uh, think honestly about the impression you want to make. Look, I really would feel a lot more comfortable about us having these conversations with you out of my pants. There she is! Hold it right there, Missy! You're too late, male oppressors! Soon I will seize the power of the Sapphos Crystal to transport all of womankind safely to the planet Eurybia, where they will enjoy a non-threatening work atmosphere and free childcare! Please! I give you women one week before you come crawling back to Earth! Silence! Now it's your turn to feel the sting of the invisible ropes of suffrage! <laughs> We. This is only a minor setback, Captain Smiley, for the true cause of sisterhood cannot be stopped with mere guns. Go wave your substitute phallus elsewhere. Well, boys, any ideas on how to chase after her? Oh, maybe I could transform myself into a sign that asks for help. 28-pound glossy stock is great, Shut but... the f*** up! What we need is a rocket ship! Did somebody say rocket ship? Origami Kid! He's alive! Holy sh! That's one big ship! Would you knock that off? It's getting expensive! <clears throat> Um, what do you two gents think she's wearing right now? Hopefully an apron. I could really use a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was terrible! Yeah, it was! Gerda, yeah, can you make sure I get pulled into the editing room when the film department starts cutting up my footage? Film department? <laughs> What film department? You mean they haven't been getting any of this on tape? What about digital comics? Uh, movie trailers? What about my personal sizzle reel? So far, I've got four blurry snaps taken with a digital camera made in 1999 and some cell phone footage of you pulling your tights out of your crack. The cell phone footage is a huge hit on the internet, though. <laughs> Priceless! Great. <laughs> Just great. <laughs> I knew it! Just what are you up to, Winklemeyer? Who? Me? Oh, you misunderstood! Me laughing company newsletter! That Mandy in human resources? She is such a card! <laughs> if you knew Mandy like I do, you know she was not funny! That's it, let's kick his ass before he tries to pull something! Hmm. Perhaps me should go see Mandy about filling out harassment report. You wouldn't dare. No, no, of course not. Me not make threats. Me make promises. Why, you little... Whoa, whoa, enough, Star. We don't have time for this. Guys, we're getting a lot of angry emails from feminists, and none of our wives are talking to us right now. So could you cool it with the politically incorrect talk next time? What? Wives not talking is a bad thing? <laughs> Just kidding! Sorry, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. Whoops. Whoa! 
One more issue, then we're off to bigger and better, right, Gerda? Ah, uh, well, actually, in order to compensate for the fine stars been racking up, I couldn't afford to be real choosy with our next job. Wait, uh, what do you mean? Oh, wow, look at that. Time for your job. Talk to you later. Hold on. No, do not push that button! Not really fix. Go too far in Fuja. But there, I meet Fuja self, and two of us have many, many adventures. Most honorable. Is this for real? Seriously? I can't say f but this guy gets to parade around a bad Asian stereotype, and that's okay! These are different times. We have yet to see the value of cultural sensitivity and respect for our diverse multicultural world community. You reach in pants and give origami paper, lad. We go find Mr. Lopes now. Many thank you. See you next time. Yeah, a jump You remember me? Benny. Ben is the name. No. Really? We met at Subatomic Tommy Particle Man's party up in Costa Mesa. Come on. Not ringing any bells, sorry. Aw, oh, man. I thought you'd remember. That hurts me. Now I'm gonna hurt you, baby. Run! I'm running! Hey, man. I got five. I'm gonna drill you, sucker! Look, I don't know who you are! Mene! Screw you! Hey, Nancy boy, pull up your dress. No lollygagging. Where am I? You're in my ad, that's where. Who the f are you? Who am I? Kung Fu Carl Weinberg, that's who I am. And this here is my ad for the Encyclopedia of Street Fighting Holes, Volume 1, Achilles Lock Through Leg Scissors. A back snapping, bone cracking, head crushing collection of martial arts secrets so explosive, the school bully will be running for the hills. Never lose your lunch money again. If you aren't here to order my secret system, then scram! Look, old man, you mind stepping aside before we have to kick your <laughs> We don't want to be accused of elder abuse. Old oh, man, that's it, fellas. Looks like we got our first testimonial. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Ew! Ah, fat! <laughs> <laughs> Sun tan lotion! Oh, oh don't get grabbed! Don't get grabbed! Oh. Carl sucks at teaching! Oh, hi, Carl. Yep, I hear you. Alright. <laughs> Let 
Don't go, Mistress Ropes! Take one more step, Captain, and I'll crush your friends under my heel! Please, no more smelly feet! Me no Reiki! Mistress Ropes, this may not be the best time and all, but would you fancy a soda pop with me sometime? Can we please be done with these people? Not until we get our money, Star! Yo, Ropes! Let's work! Thanks for rescuing us. You're a real pal. Yes, boys. It appears Poker Knight is safe once again from the clutches of the Feminist Claw. For now. Now where's our money? Jeepers, no problem. If you want, I could turn myself into a bunch of cash. That way I could be in your pants all the time. We could talk, go on adventures, see the sights. No, no. Regular cash is fine. <laughs> Thanks for the offer, though. I guess. May I offer a light back to Earth on Mrs. Lost locket ship? That's very kind of you, Origami Kid. But there is actually something I've always wanted to do. See ya! Hey, did you know that there's a big hole in your helmet? What? Wait! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, Gerda, we in the black yet? I'm afraid not, Captain. I've gone over the books, and if I'm right, it looks like a substantial amount of cash is missing from our accounts. Wait, are you saying someone stole my money? It's probably just a mistake. Let me go over the bookkeeping again, and... Hello! We have received your distress signal. Please, declare yourself. It's me! Brad! Please, man, you gotta help me! Oh my god! Brad's in trouble! Uh, Brad! Can you hear me? Where are you, man? I took a job in some dumb Cupid romance manga thing. I thought it was gonna be all like chicks digging on me while I wax my surfboard and stuff, but it's totally not. Kid... Cupid's? A popular comic. Manga. Whatever. I'll explain later. Please! I'll do anything to get out of here. I'll even get back all the money I stole. What?! Now don't overreact! Damn it, Brad! Uh, okay, fine, I'll come and get you out, but... You're gonna pay back the money you stole. Double it! Fine! Whatever! I only stole it to cheese you off anyway. Now just get here! Brad, out! Captain, before you attempt to rescue, I have to warn you. Manga comics are quite a bit... different than what you're used to. Thank you, Gerda, but I think we can take care of ourselves for a change. Isn't that right, Star? Nah, I usually give us 50-50 odds. Okay, Gerda, anything else I need to know before we give manga fans the treat of a lifetime? The biggest change is that you'll be navigating through the comic from right to left. Also, remember that children in general, and most people for that matter, don't seem to like you. Cool, got it. Say there, Twisted Pixel Guy, would you guys mind having some fresh-cut pineapple in the lounge for me when I come back? No. Thank you! You guys are the best. How are you big time? Don't worry. You'll pay us back. Hit it! Help here. I think Winklemeyer dosed me with something when I wasn't looking. There's all these things flying around me, talking in some weird language, and I'm also getting my butt sniffs. And not in that good way. Winklemeyer didn't dose you with anything, and they aren't speaking in a weird language. It's manga. Yay! I'm Coco! Yay! I'm Nana! We are kid cupids, and we play all day! And we spread love! Gerda, can you activate my translator? I don't get what's going on here. I already did. What is your problem? I told you, it's manga. Cutie Cutie Kid Cupids is a shoujo manga. Love is a major theme, and its characters are emotionally intense. Creepy is more like it. Um, excuse me. We are looking for a friend of ours. 
His name is Brad. Have you seen him? He's got the sturdy arms of an Adonis, a rippling chest, hair like the flaxen locks of an angel. Brad teaches gym class at our school. He's our favorite teacher. Brad is super duper dreamy. We wish he was our boyfriend. Can you take us to Brad? Sure. We'll call Pling Pling our rainbow pony. Pling Pling at your service. Climb aboard! Yeah, <laughs> climb aboard. I think they want us to climb aboard. Yeah, I got that, genius. Oh no! Look out! Not the party nightmare hurricane! Uh, hello, uh, little Cupid girls. We wanted Brad. Uh, not some smoky creature things trying to kill us. <laughs> girl that knocked me off the pony. You should be more careful. You might hurt someone. You don't tell me what to do. I tell me what to do. Until next time, skate. Well, uh, she seemed nice. So, what do you say we find Brad now? Uh, can you take us to Brad now? Brad. Bra Brad now, please. No! First, you must sing a song for Pling Pling so he can go to heaven where he can dance and sing and eat gum gum berries all day and never get a tummy ache. The last writer of Pling Pling must sing this song. And what did she just say? They want you to sing some stupid song. What? If it leads us to Brad, then I say we have no choice. Come on, hurry up! For the love of... Fine. anything about me having to sing and dance at the end of the last issue? Well, it is a comic about little girls. Really? Is that what they are? Well, why don't they speak English then? Because they're from Japan? Anyway, they do speak English. What is your point? My point is, Gerda, is that I just spent an entire issue having to hunt for Brad in some bizarre alternate universe. Japan. Whatever. And guess what? No Brad. <sighs> I just hope he's okay. I'm sure he'll be in the next issue. Just get to the jump room and we'll find him. Now please, leave me be. All right, you heard her. Let's go, let's go. Oh, they will pay. They will pay. So they're going to pay, huh? Oh, hello, fellow employees. Twisted Pixel has just announced that they will match any gift employee make to recognize charity. Me donate to Youth Arts Program. 
what you give? Yeah, right. Youth Arts Program. Sure, you can only keep this up for so long, buddy. Gerda, I've been thinking. Uh, Brad's a survivor. He'll be fine. And if he took a little extra severance money when he left, well then, who am I? Sorry, uh... Captain. Brad's lawyer sent over a contract. I signed it and sent it back while you were gone. If we back out now, Twisted Pixel could get sued. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Brad's waiting. All right, fine. But no more singing. <laughs> understand anything they're saying? They love Brad. What's not to understand about that? Oh, hey, look at that. You're all following me. <laughs> That's great and not at all creepy. Maybe they're leading us to Brad from uh, behind. Yeah, that, that's pretty creepy. Get back! Bad things! That whole vacant grin not target thing is scaring me, man! Brad! No! Smiley, bro! I can't take this place anymore! I look like a chick! And I got this, like, cloud of sparkles around me, and dude, sometimes lotus petals will appear out of nowhere and rain down, but only on me! And these creepy little angel things, they never shut up! They laugh all the time about nothing, and they won't leave me alone, and they say if I leave, they'll try to kill me. What? Those little girls? Come on, they look harmless. They're so tiny. We love Brad. Yeah, Brad! <laughs> They're insane! They look all cute and stuff, but they are totally nuts. You gotta get me out of here. Please! Hey, if we help you get out of here, do you promise to hang out with us back home? Be our best friend! Star! No! I don't wanna- You name it, dude! Anything! Take us out for nachos? Let us spot you when you work out? Yeah, 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 sure! Anything! Hey, ladies, uh, we're gonna take Brad out for a little bro time, okay? Get some chicken wings. We'll be right back, we promise! Uh, come on, quick, let's get out of here! Help me! Oh god, please help me! <laughs> <laughs> Where the heck did Brad go? Give him a break, he's scared! Stop defending that big baby! Don't you dare call Brad a bear! Oh. Whoa! Adorable! What's this all about? You made Brad scared of us! You think you're so supreme! You're trying to take him away from us! I won't let you do that! Okay, I'm going to try to communicate with him. We do not want to hurt you! We just want to take Brad away, okay? Okay. I'm pretty sure that it's not okay. guy when he's scared to death and whining and desperate for rescue. Told you he was cool. Dude, they're gaining 
moving on us. This pony thing is moving as fast as it can. Then do something, bro. Just hold on to me, Brad. Everything will be okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're just getting angry. What'd you do? I don't know. Something happened to my gun. All it shoots is rainbow bubbles and smile beams. I need real bullets. Bullets. Yeah, bullets. I have some somewhere. Here. I was gonna kill myself with these, but I couldn't find a gun. Awkward, but awesome! Okay, just hang on. I think I can see the end of the comic from here. If we can make it, Gerda can pull us out! We're almost there, guys! Where are they? I can't see them! Those little twerps? Oh, they're probably long gone by now. Whoa, they're playing long. Ooh, you ruined our manga by taking Brad away before we could make him fall in love with girl robot teacher with supernatural abilities. They were supposed to make robot babies so we could babysit them and go on an adventure to save the world with companions. Um, sorry? It's just Brad here is paying me good money to bring him home, and to be honest, I'm not a big manga fan. Don't really get it, but maybe that's just me. Uh, now I don't want to hurt you, so, uh... Oh boy, this is not good! Fantastic! We have to fight this thing again! Awesome! Yo, Frank! Do that stuff! Here we go! We are One more time, I'm walking. I don't care. I don't care if Twisted Pixel gets sued. They're, they're too powerful. I can't defeat them. <laughs> These are little girls you're talking about, right? Remind me what you do again. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah! I am Lolo. Are you finally awake? Thanks to you, I spawned the essence of a super evil creature. But no one was around to fight him. Then I hear you battling my sisters. I haven't cried for three years. I have a headache. What did she just say? I don't know, but I guess she wants to help. She wants to help? Oh, okay, good, good, great. Okay, thank you. We could use some help. <laughs> God, it's over. Can we please get out of here now? Sure, but you're not gonna forget all that stuff you promised, are you? Uh, okay, fine. We'll be buds, okay? But I'm gonna need my space, all right? Like a whole lot of space. Oh, sure, that's fine. Just keep your cell phone on you 24 hours a day so I can text you when I need to. Well, it looks like we owe this little girl a big thank you. Thank you very much. You are a good little girl. You take care now, okay? Yeah! Now with my sisters gone, I can make the sexiest mangas ever. My books will only be found in the seedy back rooms of comic book shops with dirty curtains to keep minors from seeing the cover. I will release a smiley and star yaoi in your honor. Oh, super. <laughs> that is just... Great. All right, everyone, mission accomplished. Gerda, can you please get us out of here? I mean, now. Sorry, Captain. Not until you've finished the song. Oh, another one. It's in the contract. Every issue of Cutie Cutie Kid Cupids has to end with a song. <laughs> oh, son of a... Fine, let's just get this over with. I love you. Let's go to the ocean. Oh, please be done soon. Oh, man,
I can't believe you wasted all that money on your stupid glitter suit and dumb song. You are a complete moron. Shut up, Star. What if I like the way the suit hugs my hips? Like we better check it out. Bank on it. <laughs> Captain, help! This bomb is set to go off in 30 seconds! Now I'll be there in a minute. Thanks, Captain. Wait, what? We don't have a minute. I thought you said things would be different. You liar! <laughs> Gross, is that urine? Mostly nitroglycerin! Sick! You being a jar and carry it around with you? This is not urine, I said. Nitroglycerin, very explosive. So, what will it be, Captain Smiley? Will you save precious Gerdas? Or will you save poor peoples in lower floors of bake? What, you mean save them from your pee? It's not pee! It's nitroglycerin! It's chemical compound for destruction! You, you can look it up on the internet if you don't believe me! Well, if it's anything like your craniotron, we better be really careful. Craniotron <laughs> very real! <laughs> me build it yeah, myself! Of course it is, whatever you say, man. Ah! Fine! Me show you true power of Winklemeyer! Oh, gross! I don't want to hold your pee jar! Me use <laughs> mind beams to ignite nitroglycerin! Prepare to die and burn in hells! Awesome! Oh, man, that was great! What is going on? <laughs> Nothing. Will you do me a favor and take care of this for me, Gerda? What? Captain, this jar is filled with explosives! Yeah, I know, but it's a little late for Winklemeyer to worry about his personal health now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> <sighs> well, see ya. Bye. Hey, wait, you forgot about Gerda! Oh, yeah, I forgot. the same as last time. Yeah, you took out the best part! Normal, it is I, Mistress Ropes, time traveler from beyond. Choose your fate and perish. Choose and perish? What's that supposed to mean? It means clear your mind of everything. Anything that pops in your head will be used to destroy us. Yeah, okay, no problem. Are you thinking about something? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Uh... What? What did you just think of? <laughs> yes! Yes! A fitting end to a pair of meat-eating misogynists, don't you think? What the hell is that? It's the meat monster from that Splosion Man game. I 
finish that boss battle on like second try. I, I can't help but think about it. it. It's one of my fondest memories in life. You are such a moron! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm really kind of starstruck. I can't believe I get to fight the actual meat monster. Yeah, well, I got my money on meat and style. Sorry, Mr. Monster. Nothing personal, just business. Holy crap, it's raining meat! Hey, call Gerda and tell her to get down here with the biggest bag she can find and start filling it up with some of these hams and ribs! We left her back at the bank, which loaded, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot. Thanks for reminding me, that was so awesome when we did that. How big are your pockets? Forget about it! Precious Bradcopter go up in flames again. You tell me. You paid for it. What? Well, you didn't think I'd give you all the money I stole, did you? Oh, good one, Brad. All right, that's it. Time out. It's all for me. You... you coward! No. What kind of coward does Time this brat? No. That... was... awesome! You monster! Oh, come on, he'll be fine. What a finish, huh? And you know something, Star? Losing my title really taught me something. I could never see it before because I was I was always too busy trying to be the man and try and carry the whole comic book on my shoulders. But now I realize it's not just about me. It's also about explosions. Explosions and trite, poorly timed catchphrases blatantly robbed from films and bathroom humor and maybe some exposed female flesh too. But definitely explosions. Mark my word, Star. Things are going to change around here. Oh, oh man, I'm... I'm gonna be sick. What? I don't know what's wrong. Maybe it's the fumes from all these awesome explosions. I don't know. This is... this is awful. Well, I... I is there anything I can do? Would... would you please stick your finger down my throat? Wait, what? I know it's weird, but this is so bad. Please! I gotta throw up and... Like, we've been living together and stuff for a while now, so I thought it wouldn't be that difficult for you to help me, you know? All right, all right, fine, but... Make it quick, this doesn't look good. You son of a bitch! You killed Brad! What is your problem? I hate you! I hate you too! No! 
I thought you said he sucks. Yeah, this comic was a pile, but they somehow injected it with awesome. You coming? School's for losers. Right after I finish this comic, I'm gonna become a crime fighter like Captain Smiley. Whatever. <laughs> You've called Keys Comics your Captain Smiley comic and merchandise headquarters. No, we don't have that. No, 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 no. We don't have that either. No, we don't have that. Look, if it's not Captain Smiley, we don't have it. Get with the program. Hold on.